Can you make profit on the Hidden Fates promo tins? Let's find out. Yo, so guys, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you're all doing good. And yes, finally, the Hidden Fates reprint is finally here. We restocked some over the weekend and they sold out instantly. But good news for you guys, we are going to be doing another restock this Friday at 6 p.m. So if you want to get your hands on some Hidden Fates promo tins this Friday, 6 p.m., be ready on Pokerand.net. They will sell out very fast, probably, you know instantly so make sure you're there ready at 6 p.m to get some obviously hidden fates being one of the most popular sets not even in recent times of all time um these things are super sought after and thankfully pokemon did do a reprint of these because the prices on the second hand market was getting a little bit silly uh, i think tins were going up to like 50 60 just for four packs so i'm glad they did a reprint don't let all the pokemon investors make you guys feel that reprints are bad for you know the hobby reprints are good man it means that we can open more packs and you know more packs that we love but enough of all that in today's video we are going to be opening six of these tins as you can see i've got six right in front of me and we're going to be seeing whether we can make profit on the retail price of these tins so you get four packs per tin so in total we have 24 packs you also get the promo cards and i'll tell you <laughs> straight off the bat these charizard promo cards are worth quite a bit in psa 10 but yeah we're going to rip into these packs we're going to open them and then at the end of the video we're going to do a spreadsheet and we're going to add up the value of the cards inside and see if we've made profit before i do go ahead and crack all of these tins make sure you have left a like on this video down below and also if you're not subscribed make sure you do so right now for some more awesome pokemon content but let's get into these tins so actually i'll show you what the tins look like now because they do look a little bit different as you can see they have like cardboard now instead of plastic which is obviously great for the environment for sure but it's also great for the promo cards these promo cards were super hard to get out before they were locked away behind plastic tabs but now all you do is you just rip this and the card just slides out perfect and now you've got a great charizard promo that isn't going to be damaged as you can see on the back perfect perfect a little off center <laughs> but no nicks all right so there we go here are all the packs from the tins we have 24 in total here are all the promo cards i'm going to leave them on here for now although let's let's open the charizard again because this is definitely the money promo that's why if you see it retailers the charizard tins will cost more because for example if you do grade this card with graded gem and it does come back in a psa 10 it's literally worth like 100 pounds so i mean you make your money back in a tin straight away if it is a psa 10 obviously it may not be but if it does, then you're in the money. Even in a nine, you'll still probably make the money back that you paid for the tin, which is crazy. So I do recommend getting these tins and that's why the Charizard tins are priced higher. So we're gonna do this on a tin by tin system, if you will, we'll open each tin individually. And then at the end of the video or the second half of the video, we'll go through and we'll price all these packs up. There's the code card and we'll see if we've made profit, okay? So we are gonna do the card trick for these for the first few and then I'll speed it up towards the, uh, you know, the later packs. For those who don't know, when I do do these packs, I do speed up quite a little bit just because of the fact that the main bulk of the video is being on eBay rather than the packs themselves. But let's get a bit of a zoom in on these packs right now. Hidden Fates, such a great set. And there we go. That is why Hidden Fates is such a great set. Right off the bat, we have a Lycanroc GX. Shiny Lycanroc for that GX. Let's go, baby. And then we have a Hollow Vaporeon. So right there. I mean, Laura's probably going to have the price roughly on the screen. Towards the end, I'll do a more in-depth price where we look at the PSA 9s, PSA 10 prices, and the raw prices on eBay. But I would go to say that that card right there could pay for the entire tin in a PSA 10. So, <laughs> in the face is mad. There we go, baby. Let's get that sleeved up. And what a beautiful pull that is. Lycanroc GX from the first pack of the first tin. I've been opening a lot of these off camera just so we can build up some single cards and some PSA cards for the store. So, um... Yeah, it's been a lot of fun recently. I'm also working on a video for that content. It's like a really big, big profit video. It's I'm not going to tell you the idea, but it's can you make profit from a lot of packs, a lot of packs. So I'm really excited for that to come out. But anyway, we have an Ekin Snake Backwards, my guy. Someone said to me the other day in the comments, Randy, you don't have to say that Ekin Snake Backwards, my guy, every single time. But I was like, shush, man. Come on, it's my thing. It's my thing. We've got a reverse hollow grass energy and a Arbok regular rear. There we go. I fixed the camera a little bit. It was a little bit off center. It was annoying me. Uh, but here we go. Next pack is the third pack of the first tin. Let's see what we got in this one. There's the code card. One, two, three, four. Check out the Pokeran.net store. We've got pre orders for Vivid Voltage. We have, I can't say that, man. Vivid Voltage. It's so hard to say. We've got hidden face tins, like I said, dropping this Friday, 6 p.m. Binders, sleeves. We've got everything you guys need. Hey, I can stay back with my guy. Reverse Holo Kogos Trap and a Pinsir GX. Now, you might think this is a good pull. I mean, it's decent. Obviously, it's, it goes towards helping getting your money back, but probably the worst 
like the G the regular GX cards in this set aren't great unless you get a Charizard or a Mewtwo, maybe maybe a Gyarados. But yeah, especially Pinsir GX, Onyx GX, they're dead. All right, next up we have a. I'm gonna go for a Fairy Energy. Ooh, Fire Energy, very nice. Jinx, Misty's Determination, Brock's Gym, Ekans, Snake Mac is my guy. Coughing, Cubone. Geodude, Slowpoke, we have a Reverse Holo Scyther Energy, very, very nice, and a Lapras. So there we go, first tin, not at, well, actually, I was going to say not insane, but I'd say it's pretty, pretty darn good. We've got a Lycanroc GX from the first tin, and I'd say I'm definitely happy with the pull that we got right there. So let's get into the next tin. I'm going to start speeding up the pace a little bit now with the future tins, just so we can get onto the spreadsheet portion of the video and check the values of some of these cards. So there's the code card, and we're going to go through like this, and we're going to see what we get. we got a Geodude Reverse Holo and a Zapdos Hollow. Next up, pack two of Tin 2. We have a code card and we have a, let's get some focus here. We have a, ooh, Reverse Hollow Charmander. Now, depending on what you you know think about Charmander, you definitely could get this card graded and you could probably have it in your collection or sell it for a decent amount. There are a lot of Charmander, Charmeleon and Charizard collectors out there, of course. So that could go towards the you know total profit or total value of this tin. Code card once more. Let's see what we got in the third pack. Hey, Ekin, Snip Back was my guy. We have a hollow. Oh, we got a double hit. A hollow type null. Shiny hollow type null, should I say? And an Onyx GX. Like I said, Onyx GX not the best pull, but it's still a GX at the end of the day. Better than a regular rare. But unfortunately, this last pack right here means that we are gonna need to get a tin saver in this pack. A tin saver is something that I use um, when looking for a card that will save the value of the tin. And we don't have it. We have a side at reverse hollow and a Mr. Mime. So second tin, not too great. We've got a side energy, Charmeleon, but yeah, second tin, not too great. We are gonna move into our third tin now though. And I feel like we do need to start having some good pulls or better pulls if we are gonna look to make profit on the this, this you know these tins. Okay, there we go. We got Star You. Ekans, Snake Back is my guy. Oh my gosh, we have something here. We have something. We have a God of War GX. There we go. Let's go. Come on, Tin 3 coming through with the goods. God of War GX, beautiful card, look at that. Shiny God of War GX, man, can I say any more? For those who are new to the hobby and have never opened Hidden Fates, definitely go and buy some tins. Like, regardless if you want to make profit on it, no matter, you know, take all that out the window, take all the value out the window, I definitely recommend you just go and buy some packs. Like, it's, it's an insane set. Definitely my favorite set. It's, it's the set that, you know, after all, launched this channel. You know, without this set, there wouldn't even be a Randolph Pokemon, so... Yeah, what an amazing set. Definitely my favorite to ever open. And uh, there we go. God of War GX in the first pack from the third tin, is it? The third tin. We have a Ekans, Snake Backwards. A ooh, Reverse Holo Fighting Energy, which does actually look kind of sick. A Holo Eevee. And uh, that's it for that pack. Third pack in the third tin. Let's see what we can do. Can we get a dual Shiny GX full art? Maybe we can. Let's see. We have a Reverse Holo Mew and an Electrode. Final pack of the third tin. And we are gonna get a Ekans, Snake Backwards straight off the bat. Let's go. My guy, I keep, I keep forgetting to show you the code card. We have a Reverse Hollow Snorlax and uh, pretty much nothing else. So the third tin, the highlight was his God of War GX, but this is definitely a big highlight. And especially in PSA 10, you're gonna be looking at a decent return from that tin. All right, so let's move the God of War to one side. These are all the commons. Let's get into tin four now. And guys, yeah, Hidden Fates, just, uh, it's the best set, man. The best modern set. Probably want to like take the nostalgia away from base set. I'd say this is definitely up there. Like the enjoyment of opening these sets is amazing, and uh, you know I, I would do it every day of the week if I could. I would literally I would open these nonstop for the rest of my life if I could. Especially when we keep pulling Ekans cards like this. This is actually a sick card, man. I know I meme it a lot, but look at the design, man. Articuno in the back. It's just so gorgeous. We have a Brock's training and a Butterfree from this pack. Fairy Energy, let's go. We have a code card for you beautiful people. Make sure you go scan that in on the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online application. I've done a card trick, so let's go with it. We have a Koga's Trap, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, a Magmar, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Ekans, Snake Backers, my guy, Coughing, Cubone, Reverse Holo Pikachu, and a Jesse and James Holo. Very nice. So I actually think about grading this uh, Pikachu, the Reverse Holo. A lot of people do like to collect Pikachu cards. And yeah, I think this is a really good design and actually quite a popular design. So, you know, I wouldn't grade it necessarily for profit, but I'd grade it just to keep in your collection because I think it's really cool. Moving into the last pack of this tin. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, we got a card. I think we've got a pull in this one, guys. Look, as you can see, the dark color in the side. We have a pull. There we go. You can see the shiny vault already. Ekans, Snake Backwards, my guy. What is this? 
What is this? This is a Reshiram. Let's go. A shiny Reshiram GX. Beautiful, baby. Beautiful. And look at this, guys. I've only opened, what, four tins so far? And already we're getting, you know, sick pulls like Lycanroc Shiny GX, God of War Shiny GX, Reshiram Shiny GX. Like, come on. So, so far we're doing good. I like to always think that you get at least one full art Shiny GX per tin, which is not obviously the case. You obviously don't get that in every tin, but I like to think that. We have a Coffin, Clefairy, Staryu, Jigglypuff, Ekans, stay backwards, my guy, Lieutenant Surge Strategy, and a Clefable. Reverse hollow. And there we go. Tin four came with the goods. Wait, 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 wait. I've got three packs left. Wait, so that was the start of tin five. Yeah, I messed up. Okay, tin five. There we go. That was the first pack. <laughs> Restaurant was definitely tin four, though. Then we have a Psyduck. Ekin, Snake Backwards. Caterpie, Paris, Charmander, Shuppet. Hey! We got a double pull, a Shuppet, Shiny, Hollow, and a Moltres, Zapdos, Articuno, GX in the Hidden Fate slot. Now, this is what I call a Tin Saver. This is what I meant when I said Tin Saver. Like, it's not the hardest card to pull. You do pull this quite often in Hidden Fates, but it saves the Tin, man. This pretty much just buys you the Tin. Like, it just pays for the Tin itself. Especially in your PSA 10, this goes for around £50. So, yeah, if you do get this and it is in good condition, like mine is, you could definitely send this to Greater Gem to send to PSA, get it back, and you will have pretty much paid for the tin. So that's why I like Hidden Face. I feel like there's no other set out there that has as much potential in the value as Hidden Face. Like, no, you, you, don't get me wrong, you're not going to make profit every single time. You know, that's why we're doing this video to find out. But more times out of 10, you've got a good chance of pulling that card. You know what I'm saying? You've got a good chance of pulling a really good full art GX like we have with the God of War Reshiram. Um, from a small amount of packs, you know. Scyther Energy Reverse Hollow and a Zapdos Hollow. And now the last pack of the fifth tin. So we're almost over with the pack portion of this video. Then we're going to go jump on eBay and do some price research. There we go. Snake back with my guy. Code card for you beautiful people. And we have a Eevee, Clefairy, Reverse Hollow Grass Energy and an Electrode. So there we go. Not an amazing tin right there. We've got a Shiny Shuffer and a Moltres and Zapdos and Articuno GX card. But that's pretty much it. So I think really... To be fair, I think so far we're not doing, we're doing really well. Like I'm happy with these pulls, obviously. I'm really happy with these pulls. But if we're looking at it from a financial or a profit standpoint, which is the, you know, obviously the theme of this video, I feel like we need a heavy hitter in this next, you know, in this next tin right here. So let's see. Let's see if we can come up with the goods. We're, we've already done it, guys. We've already come up with the goods with Ekans right there. Snake backwards, if you didn't know. Ekans is snake backwards, my guy. Uh, Caterpie, Paris, Charmander, Clefairy, Reverse Hollow Paris, and a Kangaskhan. We've got some other cards over there. So not a great first pack from this final tin. But we're going to go with the Charizard pack next. And we're going to work our way through this one. Let's see. We have the code card. We have Cubone, Geodude, Slowpoke, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Reverse Holo Giovanni's Exile, and a Holo Jesse and James. So again, not a great pack. We need a tin saver, baby. We need a tin saver, a case saver, and a video saver, I feel like. Come on. Come on. Is it too late to ask for the Charizard? Can you can you God bless us with the Charizard pull? Uh, there's the code card, I think. Or was it this one? I'm not sure. Geodude, Cubone, Eevee, Clefairy, Psyduck. A reverse holo Ekans snake backwards with my guy. Now, for me, this is an insane pull because you guys know this is my mascot, especially in Hidden Face. I would love to grade all the reverse holo Ekans I can and uh, add them to my collection because they are just too cool, man. Too cool. So, graded gem, Ekans coming your way. Right, so guys, it's down to the final pack. The final pack of the video. Let's get some zoom on this one. And uh, yeah, please, please. We need a tin saver, man. We need a tin saver. Let's go. So six tins. This is the final tin. Are we going to have made some profit or is it going to be a bit stinky? Let's find out. Let's do the card trick. We've got one, two, three, four from the back. We're going to turn this over. And it's going to be a fairy energy. Oh my gosh. Okay, yo. Okay, that worked out. Chansey, Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap, Voltorb, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Ekin, Snake Backwards, my guy. Coughing, we have a Reverse Hollow. Nope, sorry, we have a Shiny Voltorb in the Reverse Hollow slot. And then we have a Starmy GX. So another double hit. And I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. So guys, here you go. Here are all the major pulls of this video. Obviously, we do have a lot of hollows as well and reverse hollows. But 
generally in Hidden Fates, you're looking for the Shiny Vault set, which is this set right here, the uh, the Shiny Pokemon. So as you can see, we have a Full Art Reshiram GX, Full Art Lycanroc GX, Full Art God of War GX. These are all Shinies, of course. We've got a Shiny Type Null, Shiny Voltorb, and a Shiny Shuppet. That's hard to say. We then have a Moltres that does not a Kuno card from Hidden Fates, not the Shiny Vault subset, but still a very good card. Then we have some GXs, some average GXs. Then we have a couple of meme cards, I guess you could call them, or just reverse holo cards. But you know what? I think we did pretty well. I think we actually did pretty well there. I think the full arts definitely hold the most value. So now it's time to jump over to eBay and the spreadsheet section of the video and see how much these cards are actually valued. Let's go. All right, guys, here we go. Welcome back and welcome to my Hidden Fates Profit spreadsheet. As you can see, I've inputted all the cards. We have the full arts here, the GX, the hollows, etc. I've also added the promos as well. The Charizard, Gyarados, and Raichu, 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 Tim promos, because they do count as well. They are value. I didn't add the hollows or the reverse hollows from uh, Hidden Fates, but they do add up as well. Uh, and I'm guessing there are a couple of quid each one. So maybe if we get close uh, to, you know, reaching break even or profit, we will actually add those in. But I want to focus on the main bulk of why we're opening Hidden Fates, and that is for the shiny cards, you know, the shiny GX, the shiny full arts, the shiny hollows. So the way I do this is I have a column for price but i also have a column for psa price as well and i usually go with the psa 9 price now it's not always safe to assume you will get a psa 10 however a lot of the cards that i did pull out of these packs today do have a very good shot of getting a psa 10 and i would imagine they would uh, but it's just not nice to it's not always best to predict or to assume you're gonna get a PSA 10 because you know you may set yourself up for failure. So I like to stick with the PSA 9 price. First things first, what I'm gonna do actually is go to PokemonPrice.com and I'm gonna select this to PSA 9. So the last sale grade in PSA 9s, and we're gonna see what the prices were of those. So the Reshiram right here is $40, as you guys can see, which is around 31 pounds. So let's just say 31. So then we'll add 31 into the PSA 9 column. And again, I'm using Pokemon Price. You guys should know that if you use Pokemon Price, it's not fact, okay? The way it works, if I click into this right now. The way it works is that, where is it? Reshiram, it shows you the last sale price, okay? The last sale price could be high, it could be an anomaly, it could be a shill listing, for example, you never know. But we can see here though, PSA 10, take that away. PSA 9s have been going for $40, $23, $20, you know, $45. So it's not fact, it's not exact, it's not, you know, gospel, but it's nice to look at it and just see it as a guide, you know? Again, it's a guide. And you never know, we may get the PSA 10, we may get the PSA 10 and that's been selling for $100, you know, so swings and roundabouts, you never know. So I'm going to go away and add all these up and I'll be back with you guys in a spreadsheet with an updated value for all the PSA, the rough PSA 9 grades. All right, guys, so as you can see, I've gone away and put all the PSA 9 prices in. A lot of them are rough. Uh, I couldn't find any sales for PSA 9 type null, so I just put 15 in. I put 15 as well for the Shuppet, the Pinset Onyx GX Stormy. I think like these probably, I wouldn't even grade them. I'd probably just sell them raw, but I'm putting a price in there. What I assume they would be if they were PSA 9, maybe even as low as 10 pounds or something, but I think 15 pound is realistic. But I wanted to go through the promos with you guys because I want to show you that the promos actually are worth quite a bit, especially if you get into PSA 10. So right here, you can see we're on the Sun and Moon promo list. If you go to SM211, which is the Charizard, you'll see $102 for the 10. 36 for the 10 for the Gyarados and then 20 for the Raichu. So again, if I was doing the Raichu and the Gyarados, I would probably just sell them raw or keep them, uh, you know, raw. As you can see, the Charizard though, $102, that's in a 10 as well. Obviously, it's gone above that as well. As you can see, it goes above that, it goes below that. But as you can see though, even in a PSA 9, 24 pound, it almost pays for the tin. And at that point there, you know, your packs are pennies, you know? Let's put 24 in and let's again, let's just put 15 for these Raichu and Gyarados. Wait. Why aren't they pounds? So a very rough, a very rough working out for the graded cards, okay? Obviously, like I always say, this is just a guide. A lot of these would get PSA 10s, like straight off the bat. So already with the Guard of War, you're looking at like 100 pound. Reshiram, probably like 100 pound as well for a PSA 10 version of these cards. The Charizard promos, 100 pound easy in a PSA 10 for sure. Like think about it, Charizard is one of the most popular Pokemon out there. People always want to get the you know, Charizard cards and in PSA 10. So this is just PSA 9 price and this is just, you know, being very, very cautious. Now though, let's get into the raw prices and see what we're looking at straight from the packs, okay? Let's go. All right, here we go. SV51 Reshiram GX, 20 pound, as you can see right there. T PSA 10 for 85 pound, best offer. So yeah, there we go, 20 pound raw. And already look at this, 31 pound for a PSA 9, but the raw card is 20 pound. That PSA 9 is undervalued, you know? So let's go for a SV67, okay? 18 pound, best offer, 15 pound, 15 pound, 17 pound, 10 pound. That's a nice little steal right there, 13 as well. 
I'd say we'll stick with, uh, I'd say we go for £15 for this, £15 raw. Next up, we've got God of War, £30, buy it now, sold a couple days ago. We have a £20, a £35, £40, £31, so yeah, God of War, definitely a big hit for us, definitely paid for the tin, the entire tin, just with one card. So I think we can definitely say here £30. Um, sometimes, as you can see, you can be lucky if you put it up for buy it now. Next, we've got the Moltres, so we've got £40. 44 out of 68, Moltres, there we go, we've got one already, here we go, 45 sold in a PSA 10, we have £5, okay, £5, there we go, I'll say £1.50, that's a steal, but I'll say £5, but to me that value, in, or the value in this card definitely lies in a PSA case, because this card right here is a piece of art for me, you know what I'm saying, look at it, it's beautiful man, Mitsuhiro Arita on the artwork, yeah, I mean look at that, beautiful art, and uh, yeah, that deserves to be in a PSA case as a display piece on your shelves. Do you know what I'm saying? SV45 Type Null. Let's go. Five pounds. Okay, I think we'll say five pounds. Let's lock that in. Let me know if you guys enjoy these, you know, eBay hunting style videos. I know you enjoy the profit videos, but let me know if you want to see more of me on eBay looking for deals. Maybe you'll see how I look for Pokemon cards and how I search for Pokemon cards. You know, sort of like an eBay hunting video. Let me know if you would be interested in seeing that. Okay, we've got a six pound here. Six pound. Viridian Forest selling for eight pound. PSA 10, Gem Mint, £40 best offer. Okay, so let's go for let's go for a six-pounder. Next up, SV16, ship it, £5, £3.30, £5, £5, £1. <laughs> Yo, deals are there to be made, guys. Get on eBay, man. Um, £5 for ship it, okay. Now, here you'll see Pinsir GX, uh, 6 out of 68. It's going to be nothing, right? Yeah, pound, two pound, two pound. I mean, two pounds is decent, actually. I'll take that. Let's just say two pound for all of those Hidden Fates GX cards. Now we're moving into the promo, and don't worry guys, I will show you the spreadsheet in a minute, but I thought it's quicker for me to just, you know, and it's more, what would I say, it builds up the tension more, right? It's more of a suspense if I do the eBay and then show you the profit afterwards. But I say right now, we're actually not looking at a profit on the raw cards. We're not looking at a profit right now. Charizard GX, there we go. Three pound, four pound, oh, this is a steal, man. This is a steal, I'm telling you. Because PSA, these are selling for a lot of money in PSA 10s and PSA 9s, okay? But, um, okay, there we go. We got a four, three pound, four pound, five pound. I'll say five pound, man, for that. I, I, I do think five pound for that. I'm guessing the Raichu GX is going to be very similar. SM212. Sorry, a lot lower, sorry. Yeah, three pound for both of them, for the Gyarados and Raichu. Let's say two pound for each of those as well, for the Raichu and the Gyarados. All right, so now let's go over to our spreadsheet and let's take a look at the actual profit and the values. Uh, and as you can see, right now we're at a negative. We're at a negative 44 pound profit, okay? But. But what I will say is we do still have to add the bulk, okay? So we've got the bulk to add the code cards. Uh, I think we do bulk at 10p, 10p per card. There you go, so £24 already from the bulk, the common, uncommon, and rares. Then we have the code cards as well. Let's quickly check what the code cards are selling at right now. 55 for £6, okay. 30 for £5, let's use that one. Let's use 30 for £5. So we have, we have 24, right? 24 packs, yep. 24, 16 per code card there we go 3.84 and already the profit is starting to get higher okay so it's still negative but if you look at the psa 9 totals and then the psa 10 potential totals it just blows it out of the park and also you have the hollows you have the reverse hollows but the main thing for me is that like okay it's gonna cost me 17 pound Let, let's do, let's do this look, let's do this let's just do a quick sum here we're losing two pound 85 per box so you know once we sell everything out of the box it's going to leave us with two pound 85 loss or with a two pound 85 loss and for me that value there and that price is worth buying more you know because if you buy more you could get the charizard which would mean you return like 10 20 30 40 times your pro your, you know your, your investment your purchase but also you know you've got more chances of getting nice cards you know and for me opening packs opening cards is the main you know fun it's the main game that's what i like doing this for um you know to open packs so Again, these profit videos are just a way for you guys to see how I value stuff. You know, can you make profit? See if we get lucky with like the pulls in the boxes. But end of the day, it's mainly to see, is this box worth buying? So even that Hidden Fates being, you know, more money than it used to be, these tins, it's still worth buying. If I can lose £3 per box in value, then happy. Happy days, you know? It's also worth pointing out though, like I wouldn't even sell all these cards, you know? So I'm, I'm saying, you know, oh, you know, you're making, you know, a £3 loss. Effectively, you still lost £160 if you're not going to sell them. You might want to open these packs to grade them or to keep them so you have them in your collection. But the way, it's, it's, like, a, it's like a mindset, the way you look at, you know, investing into the cards for your collection. Is it worth buying these packs to try and get the card that you want? Or... Is it worth just going and buying a single card? You know, it's kind of like weighing up the pros and cons, or is it worth not buying anything at all and it's a waste of money? I'll take a three pound risk. I'll take a three pound hit to try and get a Charizard every single tin. 
Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy these type of videos. Hopefully you did enjoy this one as well. Again, let's have another look at the spreadsheet. Let's just summarize one more time. Obviously, this doesn't include the hollows again, but yeah. With these full arts being PSA 9s, these alone, you know, also almost pay for the boxes, but then you add the rest of them in 9s as well. And like I said, if they get 10s, then you're, you're laughing. But at the end of the day, even if these are for your collection, Hidden Fates is one of the best sets out there. The cards you pull, the designs, the artwork is amazing. Um, and yeah, it's a great fun set and it's definitely worth the money. And yeah, I think that's it from me. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Let me know if you want to see more Hidden Fates videos. Let me know if you want to see more Profit videos. And if so, which boxes do you want me to do? But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Appreciate you guys as always. Subscribe if you're not ready for more Pokemon content. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. For now though, take care and peace out.